so now we will continue this part so we have drawn the plan and we have drawn this elevations so now we have opened we have kept the opening for the kitchen so now we will add some doors and windows so you can draw manually so here we are gonna have the main entrance so I am taking the line command so from here I am taking a one feet and I'm joining here enter so after that I'm taking the offset click on four feet so from here so this is my main door so for this so my doors will be four feet long so for that go to line click on this select to four feet enter and enter so this is my four feet door We can say represent like this or we can represent by some here so I'm taking a line command so here I'm taking this as four inches cord for our door and four inches and this side So I need to trim this. So we will delete this part. So we will do the copy of this. Or we can do image also for that MI enter. So select the object on enter so click on no and yes so we can draw here click on the line take this towards 4 inches and 4 inches and this So this is my opening so like that only we will add some openings here for our bedrooms So we will take the line so from here I'm taking four feet enter and close. So this will be opening now. So we have to pick the arc first point, F8, second point. And this will be our arc. So trim, double enter, trim this. So this is the main door. So now we will add here. Taking here. And go to offset. O enter. Three feet six inches over here and select here and for this also we will provide the 
same length here of offset for OK. So now we will take for this we are going to take 2 inches in this one. And there goes 2 inches, 2 inches, and 2 inches. So for this also click on line command to here upward 2 inches and 2 inches and join over here. So now again for this also so we can copy this because it's same only so click on C O enter C O enter select this one and this object too click on right click now select this point and select again this point so the objects are copied so now we will trim this part And we put this on so we are door opening. So here we're gonna take length this as three feet six inches. So we're gonna take so here we have these many of start, center, and end. So start end center. This is the start and direction. So I'm going to take this first point and this is the second point. So I'm going to take length. So again, we need to copy this. Copy this one and select this point. Now copy over here. On escape to so see our doors have been open. So, but here this door should be this side. So, go to rotate, or you can select mirror, select this one, enter, Like this one, click on Y. Yes. So it will be erased now. Click on Move. Select so this command, select this point, select this point, and move over here. So see, it has done. So our doors placement is done. The windows. So for that. Take the line along this door so again now go to offset or oh, enter so we're gonna take three feet now select this one and go paste here so we have got the offsets. So now again we have to add all other windows. So we are going to take only uh, 3 feet this side and 4 feet for this side. So I am going to take L over here enter so I'm going to take offset we will take this we will take it as 3 feet 6 inches one so we are done here so we will do 
windows and we will copy this so click on line command we will select the center line click on f8 so the ortho will be opened click on escape and again click on enter so like this line and, and draw it to center line click on ok so now we will do some Marmalings for this, so go to offset, click on 1 inch. So I'm going to take offset for these two sides. So now we will copy these windows. So for the copy this one, this one, and this one. Now select the, this point, click on F8 so that we can place wherever we want. So I'm gonna place here for the kitchen. And for here too. So after that I will copy this another window over here so if you come right click select one point select one difference point and select over here and here so we are done with the windows so this is how we can give the doors and windows. So it has done. So we have, uh, have you observed, I have done some mistakes. So what? So we have forgotten to change the layers. So for that, select our objects. Select all the objects of windows. So you should not forget anything okay so I did not took it because to saying you so that you can remember very well so now go to this one and select windows on escape so see how windows has been done so now we will select our doors and select these doors on doors. So the doors has been changed so you can change the colors afterwards also so our designing has been done So we haven't trimmed this one, so we'll go to TRM, double enter and trim this part. So 
So this one also. So after that, we will do some text one, text part. So go to text. So this is single line text I'm taking. So we will arrange a gate here for the select the line. So I am taking here parallel to this one. On a fit so that it can chill out right angle. So now I am taking the offset O enter. So I am taking a gate of 10 feet width. Enter now select this line and select over here. So now we will add some like pillars. So I'm taking as this has nine inches and over here. So and this also. In the line, or you can take the offset. Count nine inches. So it has done. So now we have to provide some center line. Enter so this will be my gate. So I'm going to trim this. Take the line. Draw it over here. And take the line. So or else you can do the fillet or chamfer. I'm mentioning like the gate. For this, we don't require this complete. So, this will be my gate. So, this is how we can design a plan. We can draw here tables.